This is daily vlog number 144. It's Memorial Day weekend, and I can tell this because my Facebook page has been blowing up with photos of soldiers, of gravestones, of American flags, and of a thousand and one cartoons and comments that are meant to guilt me or to emotionally manipulate me into honoring our veterans. Now, I'm sure these are all well-intentioned, and I certainly agree that our veterans need to be honored, that we should reach out to them in some way to thank them for the sacrifice they made in service to our country. But this inundation of comments and photos and cartoons prompts me to ask the question, is that really the best way to honor our veterans? Anybody can change their profile picture or click share on a comment they think appropriately honors our vets. But if that's the extent we go to, then something is missing. Facebook has made it so easy for us to hop on every bandwagon of awareness that crops up, whether it be for Veterans Day or Autism Awareness Month or any kind of noble cause that's out there. And while it's certainly important to get these messages out there, I think it's more important for us that if we truly want to honor our veterans or to raise not just awareness but call people to action on a variety of causes, we need to do something more. In a nation where a large percentage of our veterans are homeless, broke, or dying waiting for doctor's appointments, shouldn't we be doing something more? So I'm not going to change my profile picture. I'm not going to put a snappy quote for people to get a well of emotion and then go back to their barbecue. I'm going to call you to action. To do what I did, call or write your congressman or congresswoman. Call or write your senators. Tell them that the way our country, not the Republicans or the Democrats or the president or anybody individually, but the way our government as a whole is treating our veterans is in no way honoring their sacrifices. Call your representatives, your senators to action. Tell them that you are not going to be satisfied waving a flag and changing a picture and posting a comment that you want to see real change going on in the Office of Veteran Affairs. You want to see veterans being given the treatments they need for their physical, mental, and emotional damage that they received in service to this country. They deserve it a lot more than a clever comment of an updated picture. Let's do something to show that our thanks has a lot more sincerity than a Walmart greeter by actually trying to make a difference on behalf of those we claim to honor. If you want more information about how to support our veterans, check out sites like the IAVA, which is the Iraq and Afghanistan's Veterans Association. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo. Sign up and see how you can support our veterans locally and nationally. To my friends who have served and suffered and survived, thank you. You deserve our best for giving your best. This has been Daily Vlog number 144, 221 to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.